Oh, that's good. Oh, thank God. Well, howdy and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm glad you're here. We got a very busy vlog going on today, y'all. Getting ready to leave for Mexico. I thought the last fishing video I did was gonna be the last one, but I got another vlog in my system. So in our packings and our preparations for Mexico, I have a new drone. Never flown this thing. I kind of got away from the drone thing for a while because you know everybody was using them and uh, they were kind of a pain to carry around. But now that they make these things so small, it is a lot easier to throw in some drone footage. I've got one of these Mavics over here, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, th this one's really portable. It's pretty handy, but the quality's not so good. So anyway, this one's even smaller. And if the quality's the same, I'll be happy because you can literally just throw that one like in your pocket easily in a backpack. And I want to be able to show you all the landscapes down there in Mexico. Beautiful mountains. And we got to do a little work on the deer skull. It is pretty much bleached. There's just one little spot up there I got to hit. And I did get a router set. Router set. Wabam. These are the bits that go in the router and then you can make all sorts of cool shapes and holes in the wood. Stepping up my wood game in 2019. I guess we'll just get right into it and unbox this drone and give it a fly. I'd be ashamed to get it down there and then it doesn't even fly. So I gotta test it here at the tree house. Also, for everyone that enjoyed the cider backstrap recipe, that was delicious. We got another little deer treat happening tonight. Today is actually New Year's Eve. There's a jerk bait. So for a New Year's Eve hors d'oeuvre, we're gonna have some backstrap jalapeno cheese poppers. <laughs> Cannot wait. The Mavic Air. How many drone unboxings have you seen with a dude in a cowboy hat? Let me know in the comments. Don't, I already know the answer. Ooh, ah, a case. Wow. This comes in a little case like this. Look at that. Ooh, the, ooh. My gosh, that thing's tiny, man. See, that's what I'm talking about. Perfect to just throw in the backpack. So there you go. Another five years, these things are going to be the size of daggum wasps. When I was a kid, we had this cartoon called Transformers. And I probably would have flipped my lid if I would have saw something like this when I was a child. Before you use it, fully charge that battery to activate dead gum it. That always kills the party. This is the not so fun part. I just want you to fly. Why do you have to be so smart? Well, while well, that's updating, we're gonna do a little touch up on Mr. Mr. Little Horn here. A little of this stuff, I guess, on top. A little, a little 40 volume cream. I guess this stuff is pretty bad. I'm just gonna let that sit there and dry. See how that does. I hear coughing up here. Just okay? breathing it in. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh gosh. Yeah, Can I got it. it. Yeah. It got it got in my lungs. <laughs> Starting out the new year with a spicy bite. <laughs> oh, by the way, y'all. Got Amy a new thing. Ooh, it's really getting in my nose now. This is called the Mama Roo. And it is basically a robot that holds your baby. Um, we gotta... Yes, it is. You like robots? No, you don't. You don't like them robots, do you? You're like, no, give me the woods and water. I don't need no robots. I don't need no iPad, daddy. I'm just kidding. I am gonna try to keep the technology on the DL uh, so she can actually enjoy life in the outdoors instead of looking at a screen all day. Yes, we did get a lot of robots uh, this Christmas. We also got a Roomba. His name is Bob, actually. It's his official name. Bob has been doing a good job here. Gonna get a new dog here in 2019, so. Mr. Roomba might be, uh, or old Bob over there is gonna be doing a lot of cleanup. Why don't you work? Just work. Finally, we have activation. I don't wanna go to the academy. Get me out of there, I wanna fly. There's too many updates on this thing. Whatever happened to the days of just firing up a drone and just going and crashing it right into a tree and then picking it up and then getting good. Now you got all these safety measures. Airports. <laughs> Finally, we can let her fly now. And we got some beautiful conditions. That looks pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, it's not coming down the same spot. We gotta cancel that. 
Well, now that I've woke up all the dogs in the neighborhood, let's check on them jalapeno poppers. Could you hear that thing outside? I heard something. I kept hearing something. Sound like a big old bumblebee? A big old bumblebee? Yeah. Like a plane? Yeah. But a bumblebee plane? Yeah. Do you know what I was doing outside? I have no idea what you were doing. I wish G is in kitchen world. Let's find drum. These poppers look awesome, babe. I'm ready to eat those. Ooh, baby. I am hungry. I'm ready for libation. You ready for libation? OSG has had a day. <laughs> libation is adult beverage for all y'all that are keen on the parenthood world with babies. Sometimes they're so cute and they just laugh and they they're so happy, and then other times they just cry their heads off. Oh. There's the mama roo, there's the kangaroo, there's all these mom robots, but I tell you what, ain't nothing better than a good old fashioned car ride. That's true. It Thank just you. gets it done. I mean, she was literally just crying and went to happy. We're at LFD's house. It's time to put these uh, backstrap poppers on the grill. And I brought the drone so I could mess with Miss B the Bulldog. Because that just sounds fun. Oh, I wonder what she would do. Oh, uh, she's going to try to kill it. Winston flipped out. Yeah, yeah. She's going to, the Bulldog's coming out. Look who it is. Someone's interested in the drone. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, you got a smell for it? All right. LFD on the drone fly. My first one. Is it your first first time? First time ever, yeah. It's it's pretty easy to fly. Miss B's not so she's not having it. We're getting mighty close to that tree now. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, it doesn't work with water. Definitely not. Do you have anything like this when you were a kid? Yeah, we had a uh, one of those things that you it was like an airplane. You you took the propeller, you put a rubber band on it, you wound it <laughs> Just up. like it then. It was made out of balsa wood, and yeah. then you like threw it, and it would... Fun for about five seconds. Yeah, and then it would crash. <laughs> uh, those are good old days, though. I think y'all also shot each other with BB guns and ate wild mushrooms. Yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah, right. about the same time. Fun in the woods with LFD. My, my brother knocked me off of a horse with a spear one time. <laughs> <laughs> That's when little boys were men. You think you could land it? I bet you could. There's Let me take it off sport mode, because sport mode is a little crazy. Yeah, see if you can land it not in the pool. There you go. You Yay! did it, man. You did it. Hey! I did not crash. No. <laughs> That's cool. You did good. You did good. And Miss B did not attack. Yeah, she's scared to death. You are just not having anything to do with this thing. I was not expecting that. I was expecting her to chase this thing all around, but she didn't want to. Hey, dear goodness, y'all. Look at these. Thick bacon, that's key. I wish she wrapped them. Throw the big green egg on low here. What kind of wood you got on here, Dad? You got any wood or is it just straight up coals? Just uh, straight up uh, hickory wood. All right, charcoal. Had a little apple wood in there. Here we go. So if y'all are lucky enough to get a white tail during this hunting season, I hope you did. I took it to the processor, Eddie Ray's, as you guys saw, but I had them, instead of butterflying the back straps, I just had them give them to me whole, and that way I could cut them up and do stuff like this. I've always got them butterflied, but on this deer, I just decided to just have them whole, and then I could cut them up and do different things with. So you could do stir fry, little shish kebabs, and things like that with them. So we cut them up in about quarter inch strips. Unless you like getting lit on fire in your mouth, I would recommend taking those seeds out like OSG did. Otherwise, it's gonna be real spicy. Cover that up with a dollop of cream cheese and bacon, and my goodness. Woo, that'll happen right there. You get that bacon fat, going down there to the bottom and it'll flame up on you. 
I would have to say age difference between the two deer that I shot this year, you know, I shot probably a six and a half, maybe even a seven and a half year old deer versus like a three and a half year old deer. When I shot with a bow, the other one I shot with a gun, the younger one I shot with a gun, but the younger one definitely is more tender because I've had it marinated, it was super tender and even like this, it's very juicy and tender. So a little difference in age and also how they died. I mean, I've heard if you don't kill them right away and they have time to seize up more, then um, the meat's more tense. That kind of makes sense to me. Let me know if you've got experience in that category in the comments, and I think it's always good to bleed them out a little bit. Age them just a hair before you process them. 41 seconds, taking them off. Deliciousness. <laughs> oh, God. I have a feeling these middle ones are gonna be a little Crispy. You don't burn those. Those middle ones are gonna be crispies. Oh my gosh, it's perfect right now. If I can just hold back the stinging in my eye. Taking one for the team, LFG. I am. I'm not gonna be able to see more. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Did you see that? I just saw it on the news. They had a, a, a coyote they filmed jumping a six foot fence. Where? He, he hit the top of the fence and just barreled over the top of it. Still at the same place in Frisco. Frisco in that area. Oh my gosh, there's they're more, still going on. There's still yeah. more attacks. The coyote battles continue, y'all. One came back, one was on the camera recently in the yard. They're well, crazy. They just, they're I adaptable just, everywhere. just saw it on the news, man. He sprung, he hit the top of the fence with his claws and he was over. It didn't even look like it was hard for him yeah. either. He just... Hey, and he, he's eating people's dogs. What? Going after the dogs. Going after humans, going after the dogs. You hear that, Ms. B? This sounds like we got a rogue coyote we need to take out. Keep your arms ready and your bows cocked. Okay, mm. what do you give it? You've never had that, right? Mm. That good. Off the charts then. Yep. Yeah, it's hard to screw up anything with cream cheese and jalapeno and bacon. However, the deer, and this deer in particular, is really tender. Good. Like you really can bite good. through the bacon and everything. You can make it a two bite situation instead of having to bite the whole thing and then that hot cream cheese is you know, burning your throat. This deer, you know, he wasn't the biggest. He wasn't the most massive rack deer, but gosh, he was delicious. And that's the important part. Steers and deers for New Year's. How about it? <laughs> How about it? OSG with a delectable nugget plate. This is a lot of meat and potatoes. This is like a man meal right here. Oh, we got a salad over there. OSG doing the programs. Eight weeks. Eight week, she's got an eight week program <laughs> to get in shape. I will be going to Mexico and not getting in shape at all. <laughs> you are gonna do gonna, the eight day I, program. <laughs> yes, I will be doing eight days of tortillas and cervezas. And then I'll get on your program. Okay, good. <laughs> but for now, it's New Year's and we are going to feast. Well, Happy New Year, Miss B. Make sure to clean up all your toys that you've gotten out, out of your basket. Be a good girl this year. See you later. Made it back, y'all. New Year's with the family. Good times, good food, good mood, good football, good everything. Just got to step outside and check on my deer skull. We also got to check on the wildlife here. All right, that stuff has been sitting on there and it looks like it has soaked in pretty good. So I'm gonna go wash this off. So there's this hog, he's been coming in the yard every week. Something got after him. It was either a coyote or another hog or I don't know, somebody might have even shot him in his back leg or hind quarters or something. But uh, he's got a gimp and he comes in all the time. He eats some of the corn I put out, but he also just, he, Tears up the yard a little bit, but not too much, you know, that's like piss me off. Anyway, that's Gimpy. I think that's another reason the coyotes come in the yard too, because they, they they usually come in come in after him. It's like they smell and like, oh man, an injured piggy, hmm, bacon. Anyway, I'll leave Gimpy alone. I feel kind of bad for him. But here is what we got on the, uh, on the Euro so far, guys. That stuff worked a little bit, not as much as I'd like it to, to really get it white, but overall, I think it looks, that looks pretty good right there. Next phase on this guy is to just put him on some wood. So I'll be getting after that when I get back from Mexico. 8.45 and it is way past Emmy's bedtime and 
I'm an old fogey now. I gotta go down early because I put my daughter down at 7.30 usually and then it's it's just time for, be for bed. I usually do some editing and then I go to bed. Besides, tomorrow I gotta get up early and seize the day down in Mexico. And I can't wait to see y'all there. Ooh, hoo, hoo, big bottoms, baby! So stay tuned for those videos. Subscribe right here so you don't miss a single video. I love you and I'll see you on the next one.